Hi, and welcome to our short how-to video on how to install Beam Backup and Replication. Before we get into the lab and show the installation process, let's talk about some of the components that go into the Beam Backup deployment. First, we have our source infrastructure. This is any hypervisor running virtual machines that you want to protect, any physical servers that are running the Veeam agents, or a NAS device that you want to backup and protect using Veeam. Next, we have our backup proxies. Backup proxies handle backup operations and backup traffic. Now, by default, it is installed on the Veeam backup and replication server, but you can make it a standalone Windows or Linux machine in your environment. Next, we have our backup repositories. This can be a standalone backup repository, so an on-premise storage device, or you can backup directly to object storage, or it can be included in a scale-out backup repository. A scale-out backup repository is a logical grouping of repositories that are going to store your backup data. This also helps with multi-tier storage data. So if you think about it, you have your performance tier, and then you have your capacity and archive tier for that long-term retention. Last but not least, we have Veeam Backup and Replication. Now, this is going to be the brains of the operation. So this is going to handle backup jobs and perform restore tasks. Now that I've talked a little bit more about some of the different components that go into a deployment, let's hop into the lab and get the installation started. There are three install options you have available to you. First, you can create a Veeam Backup and Replication server. Next, you can install Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager. This is a management and reporting component that allows you to manage multiple Veeam Backup and Replication installations from a single web console. Lastly, you can install the Veeam Backup and Replication console. This is just a graphical user interface client for managing backup servers. You can also view any relevant documentation to help you with your installation through this pane. In this scenario, we're going to install a Veeam Backup and Replication server. The first page we're going to see is our license agreement. Make sure you click the links here and review the license agreement before you click Accept. Next, we're going to browse and add our license file. If you don't have a license file, you can use Community Edition. This is going to allow you to use Veeam Backup and Replication for free to up to 10 workloads. Now that I've attached my license file, you can choose if you want to update the license automatically. We're going to run the system configuration check. This checks if the required software is installed on the machine. If some components are missing, the setup will try to install them. Once this is done, we'll be ready to install. If we click on Customize Settings, we can select a service account. This is the account under which you want the Veeam Backup service to run. By default, this is the local system account. Next, we're going to choose our database engine and instance for our Veeam Backup and Replication configuration data. You can either choose PostgreSQL or Microsoft SQL Server. You can install a new instance of the database on the Veeam Backup server or you can use an existing instance. Next, we're going to specify paths for different data locations. We can also specify port configurations. Now, let's click Install and get the installation process running. As you're installing, you're going to be able to preview some of the features that Veeam Backup and Replication has within it and gain a little bit of an overview. Now we have successfully installed Veeam Backup and Replication version 12. Let's open up the console and get started. And now that we've opened the console, we can start protecting our data. Be sure to tune in to more videos to help you get started.